My name is Andre. If you are new to this channel, please slow down, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Everybody's so fast. Everybody's all over the place. Shorts, shorts, shorts. That's what you want to look at. I'm the same way. That's how I know. <laughs> okay, look. Take a moment, guys. Please, for the love of, you know, who. Look, I need you to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I'm going to be pretty close to getting monetized, but you already know. I feel like I'm being hated on because I'm a conservative. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I need your help. You don't understand. You know, I need a certain amount of watch hours in order to get monetized. If I get monetized, I can bring you more and more great content. You can help me for free, absolutely free, by just uh, hitting that button and watching the videos all the way through. That one is so important. Why? Because if I don't have the watch time hours, they're going to start me all the way back over. I'm at 3,059 watch time hours, okay? I need 4,000. I just want to break this down to you. If I get 4,000, then I can get monetize and I can keep doing videos. If I have to start over, guys, I'm going to jump out a window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ever seen those high rises, those big buildings? I'm going to find one of them and just jump out. This was hard work. This was very hard work to get to this point. All right. Uh, but I did. We got it. We did it together. But I'm asking for your help there. Watching the videos all the way through really does help me. Uh, it helps me to gain the watch time hours. I know the people that uh, uh, don't do YouTube videos might not understand that. That's why I'm taking the time to explain to you. By you watching the entire video, that adds to my watch time hours. And if 400 people watch it, that's a really good amount of watch time hours. That's how YouTube does it, you know. But I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for all of your support so far. I do have a members channel. Uh, I'm sorry, I do have a membership coming up here, and I'll figure out how to work all that soon. But I did get monetized for 3,000 hours. Anyway, today, we got to talk about Nathan the Wimp, simp, trying to be a pimp, Wade, okay? He's got an interview with, I think her name is Caitlin Collins on CNN. She looks evil. I'm sorry. This, this woman looked like she was ready to kill Trump every time she talked about him. She hates him. You can see it. All right. I, I just, I don't know why people look so, like they wear their feelings on their face. She looks like a very dark person. Somebody you don't want to be trapped in an elevator with. You know, she might fart. I don't know. Uh, but Caitlin Collins, they're going to interview uh, Nathan uh, Wimp, simp, soon, uh, trying to be a pimp. Wade, she wants to interview him. Uh and gets a shocking surprise when Nathan Wade has to, she asks him a really pressuring question. He has to get up and walk away from the interview because the question was too much for him to handle on his own. This is absolutely mind-blowing. But when you're a liar, see, if him and Fonnie Willis was telling the truth from the beginning, uh, they would have Trump already in handcuffs, okay? They would have Trump locked up if he was trying to interfere with an election, okay? A uh, long time ago. OK, but when you've been lying and you can't keep your greasy fingers off of uh, your co-workers, which you're not supposed to be doing that. Everybody knows it. It's unethical in any work. I mean, even if you are a waitress, <laughs> if you're a waiter, <laughs> if you work at McDonald's, you can't do it. If you can't do it at McDonald's, why should you be able to uh, why should why should you be able to do that as a district attorney and a lawyer, a prosecutor? You can't. They'll fire you on the spot which is why they should be fired, you know. But we'll get there later. I want to go ahead and play and react to this video because I just think it's so telling how, how these people have been lying and they can't even remember their lies anymore, so they got to get up and walk away. Amazing. What is your current relationship with the district attorney? Uh, just as outlined uh, earlier, we are great friends. We, we speak regularly. Um, you know, the conversation has changed, though, you know, whereas before we're, our conversations were about this case, um, you could, I'm sure you could imagine and appreciate the... Good. I'm glad you're not talking about the, the case because it's not actually a case. If they were legitimate and they were serious, we all would know. We would, we would actually be able to see that, but Fonnie Willis was very ghetto um, when she came out to represent herself and when she had her dress on backwards. She was very um, ghetto-fied, you know, just liberal, black, ghetto. That's, that's what you saw. I couldn't believe she was a prosecutor. I couldn't believe that she had such a high position when I saw it. 
So I'm glad they're not talking about the case anymore because it shouldn't be a case anyway. The amount of time that it takes that you know you have to pour into uh, a case uh, trying to uh, a case of this magnitude trying, trying to prosecute to right. those defendants, yeah. but it's hard um, our that, conversations right. have shifted to um, how are you? How are you handling uh, the the threats that are coming your way? Are you being safe? Um, and you know. I like to know what kind of threats they're having. Okay, um, we, uh, conservatives don't threaten people. All right, I don't. These people have been lying. I don't believe anything they say, really. Um, in my opinion, I think they're they're lying about everything. The threats. Okay, the only threat are these people. To, in my opinion, they're the, they're the threat to all of us. All right, uh, because they're so caught up in their skin color. And by the way, these people never look happy. They always look so depressed and sad. I don't think no amount of money would change that. Okay. It just wouldn't change the way they look. They look very sad and depressed. It's miserable. When you're, when you're doing things for the wrong motives, it just it shows on your face. It's crazy. I wish uh, the world could see it. The democracy, w w the case will live on kind of thing. Just to clarify, when did the ro romantic relationship between the two of you start? Yeah, so, you, you know, we get into, there's been this effort to, 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 to say that, okay, these, these exact dates are, 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 are at issue and these exact dates are, I'm getting, I'm getting What's that? signaled here. Where are you going? You, you got a signal? From where? Batman? Oh, well they come and hit your ass. Can I go off the mic for a second? Yes. Okay. I took the mic off. Where you going? Keep rolling. Nate, Keep rolling. Come, come back. Down. Come back, Nate. Where, where you going? Why are you walking off the interview? She just wanted to know what all of us want to know. When did the relationship start? Did he forget? He doesn't want to incriminate himself or lie on CNN. So this man right here Okay, Uncle uh, Uncle Ben's, he's going to pull him over on the side. Why does he have to get up and walk away? That was a tough question, I guess. He really didn't want to answer that. Nate, where you going? You coming back? Let's see if he's going to come back, guys. Nate! Nate, we need you. You're in the middle of an interview with CNN, Nate. Nate. Hello? You can't say that. What is he telling him? Don't answer this. Be careful while you answer this question, Nate. Oh, he's coming back. Hey, Nate, look, she she's mad in her face. She's trying to figure out how these black people do stuff. I don't understand. So are you ready? Everything Nate? okay? Yeah. Everything okay? No, it's not okay. He was about to throw everything away. And CNN can't have him do that. Don't embarrass yourself on CNN, Nate. Why do you walk away? You need to walk away from the Democrat Party. I'm thinking that that's what everybody else wants to say. That's why I'm saying it. I think he might want to walk away from it. He's back. Let's, let's. Just to revisit the question, it was to clarify when the romantic relationship started and when it ended. Sure. So, you know, I believe that the, the public has, um, through, uh, through the testimony and other uh, interviews, the public has a, a, a clear snapshot that this is clearly just a distraction. Um, it is not a, a relevant issue in this case. And I think that we should be. How are you going to tell us it's not a relevant issue? I'm just saying, how are you going to tell us? You, you used to be a judge, right? But you're telling us that this is not relevant. To, to a lot of people, it is relevant. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Nate, don't look so surprised. It is relevant to a lot of people, Nate. Okay? All right? You can't keep your greasy fingers to yourself. And you only want to have uh, you only want to have Fonny make you sandwiches. That's all she's good for. That's what she said. All right? So this all blew up in your face. Now you don't know what to say. You and Fonny been talking. Okay? We already know what's going on there. You still seeing funny? This is crazy. I I don't think people don't stop in the middle of interviews like that and walk away, guys, unless they have something to hide. Okay. If when you're telling the truth, 
That's why I like Alex Jones, man. Because look, Alex Jones is, I mean, he's crazy, but he's a good kind of crazy. I like, I like how crazy he is. But when he's just talking, he's just telling the truth. I like what he said one time. He said, the truth just rolls right off my tongue. I just don't have to, I don't have to worry about hiding anything. I don't have to, I don't have to do any of that. I just tell the truth all the time. It's free. You, it's, you're so free when you tell the truth. It's just amazing. You don't have to worry about nothing. You, you can say whatever you like. The words just come rolling up. When you're lying, on the other hand, you have to get up in the middle of interviews and walk away. That's the kind of stuff you do when you lie. I better be careful what I'm saying. I don't want to get in trouble and blow this whole damn thing because we still got a potential chance to take Trump down because he did do election interference. <sighs> man, oh man, when would these people learn? I, it, it would be a great day when all of them just learned. These people look so sad, man. Nate looks so sad, man. Why do you do this to yourself, bro? Be focusing on uh, more of the facts and the indictment in the case. Well, I ask because obviously this is, it's still a pending matter. It's going to be before the Court of Appeals. And you talked about how proud you were of all the work that, that you did in this office. Proud. And I think the question that people have when they hear from the Court of Appeals, this isn't happening until next spring, is did the relationship jeopardize that work that you did in this investigation? And, and therein lies the issue. Um, why we wouldn't touch upon the, the work of the Court of Appeal. Nate, we know what you was touching upon. That's why you ruined the case. Okay? You had to step down. Y'all went into a case after Donald Trump for election fraud, election interference or fraud, whatever. Uh, sleeping with each other. Now, how sloppy can you get? Going to Bermuda, Bahamas. You and Fonny Mama. Like, this is crazy. You know who you was dealing with? Donald Trump. Do you know how many patriots are behind this man? I don't think you know. Fulton County got a lot of problems, Nate. You should be worried about Fulton County, okay? That's what you should be worried about, all right? I'm just saying, y'all got a lot of problems over there. A lot of stuff going on, okay? Man, oh, man, but you just worry about orange, man. I tell you what, man. Some of our own people just go against everything we, we're trying to do. And they try to pretend like it's justice. Oh, we're getting justice. You ain't getting no, it's not justice, man. The real justice is going to come when y'all stop hating each other and hating people. That's in your nature. I know that because that's how I grew up around is people like this. Nathan Wade. All right, what I call him? Uh, Nathan Wimp Simp pretending to be a pimp. That's what he is or some higher court because it's a pending issue before them. I think that we should allow them, take a, a step back and allow them to take the evidence that they have um, and, and do their work, make the decision. Right, but you did testify to this and you were asked about, on the stand about when it started and when it ended. It just wasn't completely clear because before it said... It's still not clear. He didn't answer the question. He's scared to answer it, Okay. They got him. They got him cornered. They don't want to answer the question, okay? Because it's been lies through the entire thing. Before the indictment, which was August 15th here in Atlanta, and then later the answer was at the end of, of that year. And so I think that was the, the clarity that people were seeking of, of when it started and when it ended. Sure, and uh, there again, there's a, there's a question before the court. Um, and that is the crux of the question. I, I don't choose to say or do anything that would jeopardize um, the case or the court's ruling. I and as a attorney and as a former judge, they had to pull him aside to tell him all that. Okay. He doesn't want to tell her the answers. I wonder why. Gee, I talked to a lot of people in the streets. So I said, Trump or Biden? You know what they tell me? The people that vote for Trump, they're so happy about voting for Trump. They, they are thrilled. Whenever I get a Biden voter, they, they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to tell you because they're ashamed. They're ashamed of it. This came out of left field. Nathan, Nathan Wade and Fonnie Willis never expected this. Okay. But again, they were dealing with Donald Trump. And that's why they have these issues now. Okay. So there you have it, and this will keep going on and on. Uh, maybe next spring they'll get some justice, <laughs> okay? 
But my guess is that Orange Man is going to come out on top. Not on top like Nathan Wade, okay? But he's going to come out on top of this whole thing because all this is election interference, okay? Remember, they're doing exactly what they tell you that we're doing, okay? They're liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire, okay? Guys, this has been Yup, I Said It. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you watched at the end of the video. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. I love you.